worm castings are not high in nitrogen. They're not a fertilizer. That's not the way to think about them. This is a key to the fertilizer lock. The lock is the structure. Even the stuff you buy off the shelf, when that goes into the garden, it's hard. A plant can't absorb this directly, but this it can, and that's the ticket. Microbes and fertilizers working together. Your garden will be unstoppable. Here's the thing that's tricky. When you see on a box it says time released or slow released, what that means is that product that you bought off the shelf needs to go into microbial rich soil and the microbes need to break that product down and release what's inside of it. I like to toss in an all-purpose when I go into the ground, along with a handful of worm castings, a nice thick layer of compost, a nice thick layer of leaves, and a nice thick layer of grass. That's proven so far to be a pretty good environment for maintaining microbial activity during the hottest parts of the summer or the winter. Microbes get all of these little particles stuck to their bodies. All of these aggregates, that's billions of microbes with soil stuck to it, all congregated together around this root. Because of photosynthesis, this root gives them sugar. So when you put a product that you bought off the shelf in there, it just becomes part of that cycle. The same bacteria will get little pieces of that product stuck to them. The worms will eat the bacteria and crush their bodies and then juices will ooze out the front of the worm and come out the back of the worm as worm castings. This stuff, just regular soil from the ground, a rock, and if I drop this into clear water, most of it would just sink to the bottom. But this, the worm castings, if I drop this into clear water, the water will instantly change color and most of this will dissolve. So that means all of those hard, oh, all of those hard minerals that are in this turns into something that dissolves in water. That's the slow release part, the time it takes for the microbes and worms to turn this into this. It's important to the companies that your plants have a sudden growth spurt when you use it. So they put stuff in here that is water soluble water-soluble nitrogen, available phosphate, soluble potash, water-soluble magnesium. But there are other elements in here, iron, calcium. That's what it means. I didn't bring my readers, let's see. <laughs> you can make this stuff, you can make your own mix by buying all of this stuff independently. That definitely needs time because sometimes, and I'm not speaking about this product particularly, I hope not, but sometimes the reason that nitrogen and that some of the heavy hitters are water soluble is because they're synthetic. And the rub with that is the plant uses it up and then there's no more because the soil food web and the microbes in it don't interact with synthetic fertilizers. That's why soil becomes depleted when it's used over years and years because microbes don't react to it. So the soil just becomes a no man's land. There's no aggregates. There's no carbon sequestration. There's no deep root growth. There's no vitality. It just turns to dust and blows away because synthetic vitamins are used up very quickly. And then you have to reapply and reapply and reapply and because this is foreign to the natural environment and because they don't interact with it over time, that section of dirt just becomes a barren wasteland and that's when the weeds come in because nature hates a vacuum. So when the soil becomes void, nature brings in weeds trying to fill the space. Let's see, there was wording on one of these packages. Where is it? Mm. Oh, there we go. Quality natural and organic ingredients designed to deliver a steady supply of essential nutrients to your plants. That's the process. It's not all meant to break down at once. There's stuff in here that breaks down very quickly so that your plant has a growth spurt, but when it comes down to it, over the long term,
all of this stuff needs to be broken down. I should probably pull that off. Good deep soak. Try not to get the leaves wet. It counts as a bonus if you can get a ladybug to take a drink.